just celebrated Memorial Day. And it's an incredible time to be able to honor those who have served our country, and even more importantly, those who have fallen and have made the ultimate sacrifice. But we all make sacrifices. And many here in the States have lost family members. Many of us have lost good friends. But the fact remains that freedom comes with a price. But one of the things that we need to recognize is that whether you're in combat, whether you are support, whether you're intelligence, whatever area, whether you're back home making things that supply our troops, or you're just working a daily job, being an American, following the American dream, we all have a part in freedom, and we need to take that really seriously. Recently, I just attended another tactical carbine class. It's really important that we, the people, retain the right to bear arms because we are the final defense. We are what our military is protecting, our freedoms, the Constitution. And we need to be ready and diligent to stand for those freedoms. And not only just for freedoms, but also just for self-defense. So during the day, I just noticed the variety of different people that were there at the school. Learning, taking time, spending their own personal money to be there, to train, to be the best that they can be to protect our freedoms. You know, sometimes the Constitution and the Bill of Rights seems like this high ideal, but our founding fathers meant it to be a very personal thing, for personal freedom, for individual rights. Our military does an incredible job. We have the best military in the world. We have soldiers that are out there, young men, that are giving the best years of their life, many of them coming back with less than they went with. But I want to say to you guys that it's we the people, the citizens, that these guys are protecting that these guys are serving. And we need to honor them in every way. But the ultimate honor is to take the responsibility of self-defense on your own shoulders. And what they are fighting for, we continue to protect here at home. You are no less a citizen than that soldier out in the field. Yeah, we're not always the honorable one making ourselves a hero, but I'm gonna tell you what, you can be a hero every day right here. And as an American citizen, that's what it's all about, is being a hero bringing home the bread, doing the best you can, that not only the United States will be a power in the world for good, but also that we personally will be a power here. Now, one important thing to note is whether you're in the military, your law enforcement, or you're just a sheepdog, no one is superior to the other. And that's one of the reasons why our country has been so successful, that all men were created equal. The Founding Fathers didn't give us that right. The Constitution doesn't give us that right. The Bill of Rights doesn't. It is just stating the rights that we have and acknowledging them and agreeing that we will stand firm and protect these rights. No sensible person wants to use a firearm to kill someone else. But when it comes to self-defense, defending yourself and your family, sometimes it's necessary. 
And those of us who take the responsibility to arm ourselves are in a defensive mode only. And we are to be the best we can be, to be the right kind of citizen, to stand up for people around us and to do the right thing. as you go forward as a soldier, in law enforcement, or as a citizen, be ready to protect the freedoms that we hold dear because they are precious and once we lose them, they're gone forever. So I encourage you to go out, to go to the range, to practice, to train to the best of your ability to become who you need to become to stand for freedom. Because when it comes to the self-defense of myself and my family, I take responsibility. Isn't that right, Grant? I want to say thank you to our U.S. military. I want to say thank you to our men in uniform who serve on the front lines every day in our neighborhoods. And I also want to thank those who stand up for the average citizen. You sheepdogs out there, thank you for what you do. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Because when it cut becomes because when it comes to protecting my family I take responsibility for it and I don't need uh, look up at the camera is it on there? oh now it's on it <laughs> now it's on the <laughs>